everyone, this is Jared Trader Gamer Basket, and welcome back to another Let's Watch of Death Battle. Today's episode is Sub Zero Slides into Death Battle. Gosh, these titles. I just realized I don't have my lights on. Give me a second. Okay. <laughs> I apologize for that. Um, so yeah. Sub-Zero, my fifth favorite character in Mortal Kombat history behind Scorpion, Sector, Shao Kahn, and Raiden. Um, so this is going to be really fun to watch. Um, I love Sub-Zero. He's really freaking cool. Um, uh, yeah, like I'm going to focus mainly on Sub-Zero for this, and then when I... Then when, after I'm done watching, I'll focus on uh, who do I think is going to win, because I finally came up with an answer. Um, let's do this. For untold generations, the Lin Kuei assassins waged war with their rival splinter group, the Shirai Ryu. Desperate to claim victory in the blood conflict, the Lin Kuei huh? resorted to drastic means of recruitment for able-bodied soldiers no matter what age they were. Or in simpler terms, they kidnapped children. Well, at least they got to be ninjas. I bet their tiny little bodies would be even stealthier. Turns out two of these kids just so happened to be descendants from a race of extra dimensional beings experienced in the art of ice magic. Their names were Bi Han and Kwai Liang. With the Lin Kuei's training, these brothers became cold-blooded assassins and the so finest warriors in the clan. And whether it started as a joke or he just thought it was badass, Bihan adopted a brand new name, Sub-Zero. Sounds like an online username from your teenage years that you regret forever when you're older. Sub-Zero was so fierce and We're driven, he became Bihan? directly responsible for the complete annihilation of the rival Shirai Ryu clan. Unfortunately for him, one of them, called Scorpion, survived, kind of, and decided to kill him right back. Which obviously pissed off Kuai Liang, who decided to do uh, the same okay. as Scorpion. God, it's like a high school drama, but with murder. Striving to honor his fallen Kuai brother, Liang. Kuai Liang assumed Bihan's mantle as the champion of the Lin Kuei. Sub-Zero was reborn. This new Sub-Zero is a master of Shotokan Karate and Dragon Kung Fu, and enhances his martial arts with his deadly cryomantic abilities. So he can freeze the moisture in the air to do, well... Tons of stuff! He can make his own personal slip and slide, perfect for surprise attacks. He can form all sorts of weapons out of thin air, like daggers, swords, or even ice hammers. But best of all, the dude can make ice so cold, it instantly freezes anybody who touches it. This guy would never have to worry about a warm beer. This can be achieved through Sub-Zero's Ice Blast projectile or the Ice Clone technique, both of which completely immobilize his opponent for devastating follow-up attacks. Did he just make a perfect sculpture of himself? Why does he go into the ice sculpting business? Dude will just make a killing. Well, you know, not the literal kind. He's got that down already. Sub Zero can also implement his cryomancy. Hey, I have that game. It's actually kind of good. To be instant teleportation, an unexpected ability which baffles even his fellow assassins. Yeah, but I bet that's still not as unexpected as turning into a friggin' polar bear. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta go. Uh, I'll be back for Glacius next week. Uh, my neighbor's out, and uh, I'm supposed to be watching his pet polar bear, and I think I definitely left him outside. So they can pronounce uh, Glacius right, but they can't pronounce the Shirai, Ryu, the Shirai Ryu right? Yeah, this, this is the only time I'm gonna be so... This is the only time I'm so sold on it being Ryu instead of Ryu. Okay? There's... Ryu Hayabusa, some people call him Ryu Hayabusa. There's Ryu from Street Fighter, people call him Ryu from Street Fighter. Uh, there's the Shirai Ryu from Mortal Kombat. It's actually called the Shirai Ryu. You can see where that kind of gets annoying. Um, okay. <laughs> so, Sub-Zero, I did not know about the polar bear thing. That's weird. Um... Uh, I did not know about the polar bear thing, and I did not know about... I didn't know if they were actually going to include the teleportation thing. If it makes sense, they they are. I mean, they've included non-canon stuff before, and it showed up in Mortal Kombat X. So, I guess it actually is canon, so never mind. 
Uh, I feel stupid now. Um, okay, this fight. Uh, Sub Sub Zero versus Glacius. This is a matchup that I've been wanting for so long. This is one that my friend David's been wanting for so long. This is one my friend Josh has probably been wanting for so long. This is one that a lot of people have been wanting for so long. This is one that I am glad is not Sub Zero versus Elsa from Frozen. That's just me. Um, this is all irrelevant at this point. Okay. Um, so. When we recorded the podcast and put it up on YouTube, I had not looked into Glacius that much. Um, nor had my friends on the podcast. Um, so, after I recorded and posted it, I thought, you know, maybe I should look into Glacius for a little bit. So I went up online, looked up Glacius, stayed on there, and found a website that just found, found, found a respect thread, found... The Killer Instinct wiki, I don't really trust wikis, but this was actually, but if the Mortal Kombat wiki can be useful, which it is actually, um, then Killer Instinct probably is as well. Don't quote me on that though. Um, I didn't really, I took it with a grain of salt. Um, I found some forum thread. Um, I looked on the ScrewTech forums, I looked on the DB wiki, and I did all of that in two minutes. So I didn't look into everything. But those two minutes have shown me that Sub Zero is completely and totally doomed. <laughs> it's like, man, this is probably one of the most unfair matchups this entire season so far. This is only episode six. Um, so we have Lara Croft versus Nathan Drake, which isn't a stomp, but it's not exactly fair. We have Scrooge versus Shovel Knight, which is unfair, but I feel like it's a little unfair in Shovel Knight's favor, but that's just me. Um,. We have Venom versus Bane, where Venom just mops the floor with Bane. We have Megazord versus Voltron, which is pretty much giving every single advantage to this one giant robot and using it against another giant robot who cannot even compare. So he, so Voltron, spoilers, mops the floor with the Megazord. Um, then we got Nantu versus Ace, which is probably the closest matchup out of all of them. Um, uh... Not too stronger and faster. Ace is more has more endurance and defenses. Not too can't. Not too is immune to. They're both immune to their own fire, and Not too eats the stuff. Um, and so Ace didn't really have much ways to kill Not too. Um, uh, not too strong enough to put Ace down, but Ace has intangibility. Um, it just boils down to Not too having more experience. Can eat all of Ace's attacks, which makes him stronger and gives him more stamina. And he has lightning, which is, which is um, the one thing Natsu has that is not that Ace's body is not immune to. So that's basically what it boiled down to. Um, with this one, people are going to say, okay, so Sub Zero can freeze Glacius and then just, just shatter him. Done, done deal. He's frozen other people like he's frozen um, non-humans before. This is true. But, Glacius' body is literally made of the stuff, guys. Like, Glacius' body is literally made of ice. So, all Sub-Zero would be doing if he shot ice at him was, would be just, like, building his defenses up more. And then we got... Okay, so... Uh... So, what if... So, it, so fire is... You, fire. What did I think of? Because Natsu versus Ace, of course. Um, so, Ice is useless against Glacius. What about martial arts? And his ninja skills? They're, they could overwhelm Glacius, right? The thing about that is that Glacius absolutely demolishes him in stats. Um, like, it's not even fair. Um, so, martial arts and... Ice powers are completely useless against Glacius at this point. Um, the issue with that is that that's all Sub Zero has. Like he's a martial art, like he's a ninja. He has martial arts and he has ice powers. And I guess he could turn into a polar bear as well, but that's that's nothing. Like who freaking cares? Um, uh, so. And Glacius has pretty. Glacius is pretty much sub zero, just 
doubled the stats. So, and Sub-Zero is not immune to ice, so... I mean, he can't get cold, but that's just the whole Boba Fett versus Samus thing all over again. Is that, sure, like, you have something on you, or you're, something about you makes you resistant to cold or whatever, or, like, you're, you're, you're not, like, it's cold resistant, you're not gonna get frostbite, whatever. Um, that's, that's all said and good. But if you're shot by some, like, ice beam or whatever, you're gonna get frozen solid. Sub Zero is the same way. His body's not his body's not made of ice. He just makes ice from his body. That's that's completely different. Um, so so taking that into account, plus Glacius's superior stats can just Glacius could really like knock Sub Zero out cold with a single punch. So like a bunch of other punches is gonna make Sub Zero's head explode. So Sub Zero doesn't stand a ghost of a chance here, guys. Like this. This isn't as unfair as fights like uh, Megazord versus Voltron, but it's not. This is this is a really unfair fight. Like, um, so I love Sub Zero. Okay, I've stated it in the beginning of the video. I love Sub Zero. He's he's one of my favorite Mortal Kombat characters. He's around my top twenty favorite fictional characters of all time. Um, yeah, I think top 20. Um, I'm also not the biggest fan of Killer Instinct, and not really, and because of that, not really the biggest fan of Glacius. I mean, I like him, he's cool, but he's not my favorite character ever. So, really, I want Sub-Zero to win this fight pretty freaking bad. But, you know, how badly, how badly I want Sub-Zero to win is pretty much the exact amount, it's pretty much the, the same as how bad Sub Zero is gonna lose this fight, or at least how, he, or at least how bad he should lose this fight. I don't know if he will lose this fight, but he should. There's really nothing in support of Sub Zero here, aside from what they brought up in Cammy vs. Sonya, where uh, there's the Anvil thing from the Tester Might thing, and there's the freaking Mortal Kombat is interdimensional meme, which is just stupid. Don't buy that. Mortal Kombat is not interdimensional at all. I I love Mortal Kombat. It is not interdimensional at all. So, yeah, just to prove how much I love Sub-Zero. Look at that. Sub-Zero poster. I also, like I said, I have Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. I have played a little bit of Mortal Kombat 9. I didn't play Sub-Zero, but that's just whatever. And I had... Mortal Kombat was DC Un Mortal Kombat U Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 on this. And I played a Sub-Zero a lot. I sucked, but I had but I played as them a lot. So and I don't have a single Killer Instinct game. I tried downloading it on my Xbox One, but it wouldn't work for some reason. It was a demo, that that was why. Um but demos should still work. Whatever. Um So yeah. I I like Killer Instinct. And I like Lysis, but I love Sub Zero. I don't want to see him lose this bad. But oh my gosh, he is so com he is just completely and totally doomed. It's like the Sub Zero poster and how many Mortal Kombat games I've played should tell you how much I want this guy to win. I love Sub Zero, but he's so dead. Sub Zero is so gonna die. Okay, enough of my, my salt aside. This is gonna be a pretty. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a pretty cool fight to watch. I did not mean for that pun, by the way. Um, um, so this is gonna be a fun. This is gonna be a f this is gonna be fun. It, we haven't had an ice battle before. This is perfect. Uh, and how much like little lore there is behind fighting games, unless we're talking Blaze Blue and Guilty Gear, there. It, it's a pretty easy fight to research, and you know all of Sub Zero's other possibilities don't work because, um, like. He destroys Elsa and all the other, and everyone else just destroys him almost, if not more, as much as Glacius. So this is Sub Zero's most even fight, despite what I said, um, and it's his most thematic fight. Like I mean, I know people like to bring up Kula Diamond from uh, King of Fighters and Grey Fullbuster from Fairy Tale. We just had a Fairy Tale fight, so that's thrown out the window. Um, uh, and. You know, King. I mean, I guess Cola Diamond could have worked because King of Fighters needs a little bit more uh, screen time, despite the fact that I never played it. 
Um, I just feel that way. Like we had Mai Shirinui, we had Terry. We were probably going to get Geese Howard versus Heihashi Mishima. Um, uh, that would be a really fun fight to, to make. Um, okay, I'm rambling. This fight's going to be cool. Bye.